Welcome to day 98 of the 300 Movie Challenge. Today we watched the highest grossing film of July 2002, which was Men in Black 2. So, there. I don't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> there are much better effects. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's true. The effects are better, yes. They, they do still, like, uh, you know, when it's CGI, it's, it's obviously CGI, but it's not, like... It's they don't just, take yeah. they don't take it super seriously anyway. So yeah, it, again, it, it doesn't yeah. it didn't really matter that much before, but it, it's it's kind of one of those things where like oh it's better okay you know yeah. yeah. So if it looks silly, then it's supposed to look silly, you know, because it's men in black. <laughs> yeah. The aliens aren't supposed to look scary, unless no. it's the villain alien. Then the villain alien's supposed to look scary. <laughs> Even that, Even that she was ridiculous. scary. She was just really creepy and like. Yeah. Eh. <laughs> Creepily sexual. I, I kind of wish they like kept her like tiny. Like, I feel like that would have been, been so funny. Because that's the weird thing. It's like, oh, it's this little thing, but then it's like, you know, she just becomes giant or like a person or whatever. And it's like, well, that kind of takes away from it. I feel like it would have been funny if she just kept being like really tiny and like became a person, but again, like because she didn't know the sense of scale, which is like a tiny person walking around. <laughs> People would have thought she was like a little Barbie doll. <laughs> Oh my god, that would have been really funny. Toy Story 4. There's the plot. <laughs> there you go. They shrank Andy. Oh no. He became a No, I'm saying they, they, they shrink the this there's the toys meet uh this woman. Oh my oh. god. Uh -oh. <laughs> Buzz Lightyear would really have to go on a mission then. I know, right? He <laughs> was like, there were aliens! You lied to me all along! <laughs> he is fully justified now, too. <laughs> um, well, I mean, I don't know. There's, It's the, it's the same, basically. There's, yeah. not, there's not too really anything different. I mean, well, actually, I'm curious. If you had to pick, which would you pick you like more? I guess I liked Men in Black 1 a little bit better. Okay, what about you, Tara? I think I like, um... I think I enjoyed this one more, actually. I think. But I think the plot in Men in Black 1 was more original than this one. Yeah. This one's fairly standard, yeah. This one yeah. was entertaining for the fact that, like, um, Jay is trying to get, like, K to remember his whole, kind of like, reverse of the other memory. Of yeah. The yeah. Sense. It's really funny because, like, you see this old man being like, I don't know what to do with this. It's like, BAM! Yeah, and I do kind of like the whole, um, like how he kind of left clues for himself kind of thing. And that was a little, that was, I mean, again, not like super amazingly creative, but it's just kind of a nice little yeah. thing. Yeah, it was, it was nice. And I do like how, like, even though he didn't remember stuff, he was just like, yeah, okay, whatever. You know what I mean? That was kind of nice. Because <laughs> it's it's so often that these kind of films, and even, even the, the, the woman, she was like, you know, when stuff's revealed to her, she's not like, what? How could this be? You know what I mean? She's just like, oh, okay. What do I do? You know what I mean? So that's kind of nice to see. Yeah. I think the woman, the princess person, I already forgot what her name is. She was probably the most bland, definitely. Yeah, I mean, but she's not like bad. Yeah. She just, you know, she wasn't really a focus to be fair, so. Yeah. You see her for like a total of 10 minutes in the whole movie, I think. Yeah. Or less. It definitely would take her over that Jurassic Park lady. Yeah. Oh. I mean, like, this girl was just very nice and yeah. normal, so I guess yeah. that's probably most of it, but it was very enter- Like, one of my favorite scenes was when um, Jay went to get Kay from the post office, and he was like, Oh yeah, by the way, all of your employees, they're also aliens. Yeah, that was, that was yeah. kind of funny. <laughs> and then he gets, that's like, mad at the like, dude for smoking, and it's like, because again, that's like, what bothered him or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> it's like small stuff like that that just kind of makes it stand out a little bit. So I actually yeah. kind of I think I agree with Tara. I think I'd be like this one a little bit more. It's it's close though. There's it's I can totally understand the other. Um, it's ex thing. yeah. They're pretty much on the same level. They're the same but... kind of movie, and it's in in a, it's in a way where like it doesn't feel like it, it's not like lazy really because like you feel like yeah. they, they do some new stuff here, and you just you just kind of want to see more of what's happening. So it doesn't feel like it's yeah. already overdone. And they made it feel like a continuation and did refer to things in the previous movie and stuff, too. Yeah. yeah. And, wait, there was also um, a Michael Jackson cameo. Oh, yeah, oh, that was so weird. With penguins. 
We were just it's... like, is that Michael Jackson? And then I was like, wait, I hear, are those penguins? <laughs> and I was so yeah, happy. That was to very see the odd. <laughs> it's funny that you don't remember that from like when yeah, you first watched. Yeah, no, that's watched. the thing. Because I, I did see this, and like, oh, there were a few tiny things I remembered. Like, um, I remember Jeff. Um, oh really? <laughs> yeah, but like I, I, like again, I didn't remember. I didn't remember the dog. I didn't remember Michael Jackson. Um, I didn't really remember the villain either. But like, what kind? Of, there was, it was kind of one of those things where it's like, while I was seeing her do do some stuff, I was like, oh yeah, I think that was a thing. But again, it was like really fuzzy. So yeah, I don't know. But I, I think yeah, if you like the first one, I think you'll probably like this one. It's basically the same thing. So yeah, it's really goofy. <laughs> yeah, I think it's a little bit goofier, but I don't know. It's maybe. Yeah. I do Plot think is a little bit different, but yeah, it's a little pretty bit. much the same. I do think uh, the first one did have the best line, which was the whole, um, you know, the imagine what you'll know tomorrow thing. Yeah, oh, I remember yeah. that line. I, I really like that quote. Um, but yeah, it's you know, I don't really have any problems with it, and you know, it's men in black, so all right. Yeah. <laughs> if you want to just uh, have a nice sit down and laugh. Go watch it. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty yeah. short. I think it's like an hour. It's about it's less an than an hour, hour and a half. half. It's like eight, yeah. eighty something minutes. So yeah. Nice yeah. pick me up movie. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Actually, it's kind of funny um, because and somehow we like didn't notice this until like today. Uh, but the next movie <laughs> is also an alien movie. Yeah. <laughs> it's a noticeably different tone. Well, okay. It's supposed to be a different tone of a movie. Oh. We'll see how it actually happens. <laughs> Let's put it this These way. These guys apparently know what's going to happen yeah, in the next Maya and I know what's going to happen. Tara doesn't, so we're just going to be like <laughs> relishing it all. Oh. <laughs> it's funny because neither of us have even watched it before, but... We've seen reviews it's, of it, so... It's a part of, like, internet culture to some extent, so... Mm -hmm. Some of you guys might know what it is. <laughs> yep. We're gonna Bye. leave. I guess Bye. leave it at that. I don't know. This is really short. Okay. We have like not much to say. There's or... really not much to say. It's like an enjoyable Men in Black movie. Yeah. So go watch it. Sorry, did you? Mm. Were you trying to say something or what? No, I'm just saying. Hopefully, I don't get abducted by aliens tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> It'll you'll, you'll take you to Cambodia. Oh my god! <laughs> Where apparently you can buy lobster for one dollar. <laughs> no, see, it'll be lobster aliens that come to Cambodia, and that they and then they like buy f people as slaves for a dollar. Oh, that reminded me of another scene in the movie where they just walked into that family's living room. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it was, there's, yes, there's a good amount of, like, kind of, uh, goofier stuff in here. So, yeah, I mean, we've said our piece, basically, so, uh, there, there you go. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Oh, we've done 98 of these, but we still don't know what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we have the next two-thirds to figure out what the heck we're doing. We'll only get it by 300, really, I'm sure. Oh, for just in time. Just in time! <laughs> Alright, we're done. Bye! Bye!